GDDR5 memory goes back pretty far with production dating back all the way to 2008. GDDR5X is much more recent with the production standard being standardized in just January of 2016. In 2017, GDDR6 memory was standardized, and then later in 2018, the production began, and then at the end of 2018, we saw it implemented in NVIDIA's high-end Turing series. In 2019, there are several GPUs and maybe even consoles that are going to be coming out which will make the standard much more popular. So what even is GDDR6 memory and what will it bring to the table? Welcome to Hari's Hobbies. First of all, what even is GDDR6 memory? Well, GDDR6 memory is a type of VRAM that your graphics card uses to store things such as lighting information and textures for your games. It holds the data that your GPU needs to process in order to display your game onto your monitor. Typically, the higher the resolution, the more stress there is on the VRAM, and with 4K monitors being more common nowadays and high-end technology being implemented into GPUs like ray tracing technology, it is essential that there are improvements into VRAM, and the latest iteration is GDDR6. GDDR6 is an abbreviation for Graphics Double Data Rate Type 6 Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory. It brings a handful of significant upgrades to GDDR5 and GDDR5X memory with one of the most major differences being transfer speeds. GDDR5 has transfer speeds of 8 gigabits per second. GDDR5X memory has transfer rates of about 10 to 12 gigabits per second. GDDR6 on the other hand has transfer speeds of 14 to 16 gigabits per second. That's about twice as fast as GDDR5 memory and about 25% faster than GDDR5X memory, which isn't bad at all. One of the biggest upgrades onto GDDR6 memory is efficiency. It consumes a lot less power than GDDR5 and GDDR5X memory and it also has a lower power draw at 1.3 volts as opposed to 1.5 volts for GDDR5X memory. Next up, GDDR6 is the first DRAM where the DRAM vendor can choose to run full speeds on QDR or DDR. DDR or double data rate is what we've been accustomed to for the past decade. DDR can send and receive two signals per clock cycle, thus the name double data rate. QDR or quad data rate will allow for four signals to be sent and received every clock cycle. Furthermore, GDDR6 will have two truly independent 16-bit channels. GDDR5 only had one 32-bit channel. GDDR5X still only had a one 32-bit channel, but it could be split into two 16-bit pseudo-channels. Overall, GDDR6 memory is not revolutionary by any means. It has the usual upgrades in bandwidth, capacity, and efficiency. The dual channel feature, however, is unexpected and it's really nice for workloads with a lot of parallel reads and writes to different parts of the memory. The updates to QDR and DDR are also a nice bonus. In the end, GDDR6 memory is not going to make that big of a difference in terms of gaming performance, and you're not going to be really missing out with GDDR5 or GDDR5X memory but GDDR6 memory is definitely a step in the right direction and will make your life just that much better. So is there anything crucial that I missed about GDDR6 memory? And what computer or hardware concept would you like me to cover next? Make sure to comment down down below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.